this is an update on my Raspberry Pi SPI driver. Um, I've updated it so that it can now drive two demultiplexers. So before it was driving up to four to 16 line decoder, which allowed you to drive uh, 16 SPI devices from the Raspberry Pi. But now what I've done is I've used the other SPI chip select line and I've allowed that to be connected to a demultiplexer as well. So now you can drive up to 32 SPI devices. And in the case of the 16-bit uh, port extender, because they, they have uh, address lines, three address lines on board, you can drive eight times 32 of those. So I think that's 256 for those, but um, I don't actually need to drive that many. Um, so I've got a demonstration here. So I'm using, uh, because it's my demonstration, I'm only using a two to four line driver, but I'm using two of them. So I'm using it from chip select one, chip select zero. Uh, uh, but you could just instead of that using two to four line, you could use a three to to uh, sixteen, sorry, three to nine line, three to eight line, or a uh, four to sixteen line decoder. Um, so on here, I've got uh, each one of these displays is being driven by a Python program. Uh, they're all in GitHub as demonstration programs for for this driver. Uh, this one at the top uh, left is just scrolling a message and it's Python that's actually doing the scrolling and you can see the clock updating as it scrolls so the message is updating while it scrolls. Uh, the next one across is uh, displaying flipping between two images because it's only like a two-tone display so they don't display very well but uh, that's a penguin and the other one, that one is a church. Uh, and then below that I've got an analog clock with a calendar and on the top here uh, I've got a digital clock and date and IP address and I've got my Asteroids game uh, just down there and I thought when I was uh, well when I wrote the Asteroids game or converted it to this SPI device driver I thought it'd be too slow to drive the display but actually even with all of these displays running uh, they all seem to uh, run without any issues uh, and the uh, the game is playable uh, as as always. Um, so on these buttons down here, I'm using this is an SPI device as well, uh, which is a GPI port extender. So I can start the game and then play it. It's a bit hard for the camera. So that all seems to run uh, without any issue on, on the SPI uh, device. So in theory, you can drive up to 32 of these OLED, OLED displays, and they always all have their own buffer in the driver, uh, so they can all display something different. Um, and that's the update. And this is version, I think it's 1.03. Uh, so I'll update the documentation on the online write-up um, of this in the next couple of days.